bodybuilding Let's competition. Go. Uh huh. I gotta hear how it went. I gotta hear, you know, what it was like in the process of working up to it. What were your thoughts, you know, when you were there? Try to just just fill us in on that whole thing because I think there's there's gonna be some really big takeaways in there. Yeah. Um, another another good question. Thank you. Um, it was. I mean, it's like, like I said, I sort of just, I signed up for the show to basically be that motivator to go and do this, like just to, to get into shape and to really commit to it. Um, it wasn't like any other experience in my life. Obvious. I mean, it's, it's obviously a very unique thing, but, um, the, craziest thing is like if you're talking about like a football game or a soccer game or whatever you have a a week to prep for it or whatever and you know that and that you, you're playing a game a week or whatever it is and that's that's like for for bodybuilding for a show you're dieting and preparing and thinking about this show for months so like you're slowly de- so i i don't honestly i don't recommend bodybuilding to anybody um, unless you really have a passion for it in the sport, it really is, you, you're, you're basically, you're starving yourself. Um, that is like, it's a very long drawn out process of trying to hold on to as much muscle as you can while you're depriving your body of the calories it needs to stay where it's at. So obviously you have to be very on point with your macronutrients there because if you, if you need to get to a certain stage weight and you have X amount of time, you really need to make sure I'm losing X number of pounds per week. And the only way to adjust for that is change your your variables like we talked about. So slowly you just cut calories, you cut calories, you cut calories until you get to the point where you're like, okay, this is the show day is in a week. So then obviously you have peak week, which is something entirely different, but um, the process of basically just being hungry, like more hungry and more hungry and more hungry and working out more and more, dude, it's like, it's such a mind like, it's it's just it's crazy it's crazy um there were just there were days that i just felt like i was i mean like it just felt like you were high you were just like you were you weren't in your body <laughs> you were just so hungry and so tired and just so like i don't know it, it's it's a crazy crazy experience um i really don't know how else to describe it but it's it's un, it's uncomfortable um but i guess it's it's all sort of worth it in the end when you get on that stage and dude, it was just, it was such, the, the experience is unlike any that I've had. It was like, you're on stage with these other guys that have been do, going through this thing. And there's just like this weird sense of camaraderie. Everyone backstage was just so happy with where they were at. And everyone, like, it's just such a long drawn out process. Everyone's just happy to be there. And like, it's like, you know, you know, it's like anytime you got like bros in the gym or <clears throat> just like hyping each other up and be like, dude, you look, you look great. Like you did a really good job, like all this stuff. It was just like such a crazy different experience. Not anything that I would, that I had thought it might've been. And let me ask you this, Harry, if you, would you do it twice? Would you do it again? Or do you think that's, that's kind of a one and done thing for you? Yeah. So when I signed up, I was like, this is going to be a one and done thing, but dude, like I made so many cool connections and I love the experience so much that I do plan on doing it again. I actually plan on doing it. Um, I think it's gonna be in July, the okay. same show. And then actually, I might do another one too. So I, th- I think I might do be doing two shows this year. Um, so yeah, I don't recommend it to other people, <laughs> but I guess I'm doing it again. So now, what what is your competing weight? Okay, okay. I so I started at about 193, and I was on stage at 157. So it was thirty six oh pounds. Yeah. Wow, that is a yeah. lot of weight. Now, how long did you give yourself? Like, so say, when was the competition for you? It was in December. October. October. It was in October. Yeah. So when did you start cutting cutting weight? When did you start kind of cutting the calories down? So the show is actually supposed to be in June. So I was at my peak weight um, in January. And then I was planning right then to start cutting down. And we literally, so my coach and I, we started cutting for um, like a couple weeks. And then it got announced that it got pushed from June to October. So I started and then I stopped and I maintained for like several months. So I was hovering around between 185, 190 for uh, all those months in between. And then the whole process of really getting down into it was about 12 weeks. So it's not, it's not crazy. That That's a pretty short in comparison, that's a pretty short one, but yeah, most of that weight was was taken off in in twelve weeks. 
And how many pounds a week did that roughly kind of equate to? Because like you said, that was what, 30 something pounds you cut from your, your yeah. original weight to com mm -hmm. you know, competing weight. Yeah, so I mean, it, the it is, I mean, there were some weeks where I would drop like two or three, and there were some weeks where it wouldn't move. So that's adjust. So I think like it averaged out to be maybe like from the true start of the diet, maybe like, I mean, it was probably like two plus pounds a week on average. And that's so crazy too, because like when you hear the, you know, the big number, oh, I lost 30 something pounds, you know, to get ready for this competition. But then you ask, you know, how much weight did you lose a week? Oh, two to three pounds. You're like, yeah. oh, okay, that's a lot more manageable than you would imagine right. it would be, right? right? Yeah. And to, I mean, so, some of the people that were at man, like, so they, they had this class that was called transformation class, dude. Some of these people lost like a hundred plus pounds in, in like a similar amount of time. It's, like, it's, it's crazy to think about how, like, how, I guess, able we are to, to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like those people that lost a hundred pounds are no different than, than you or me, um, or anyone else listening, like you, whatever, whatever goal you have, like it's, it's totally doable. It's just like, how much work are you going to put into it? Mm -hmm. It may be finding a way to break it down into achievable things every week, yeah. right? I think one of the things that people do do you know wrong by themselves with is, you know, they have this big goal, which you should. Every goal should be lofty. Every goal should be something that you should reach for. But finding a way to break it down into a daily or a weekly thing that you can actually achieve. So if you don't, if you keep failing, sooner or later you're gonna stop. Absolutely, absolutely. And yeah, dude, it's like even even when. Like even when you set those like micro goals, if you don't if you don't reach it, like, there's no reason to be discouraged. It's just like okay, what can I change? What can I do differently? It's just like it's not like every single person can do what I did. Every single person can lose weight, um, but everyone's gonna have to go about it a little bit differently. They're all gonna have to justify it a little bit differently in their heads. They're gonna have to go different times a day. They're gonna have to eat differently. Like, it, but there is always a way. So you have to find that for you. And Harry, it's kind of, you know, wrap it all up. Let me, let me kind of ask you this, you know, from your journey, right? From, from being this kind of, this, this small, you know, cute little kid that you, right? That you would get called, right? To, you know, being, you know, 190 something pound monster, right? That now is coaching people to help achieve things for themselves. You know, what was kind of your greatest sort of learning experience or, or one of those those moments that you really look back on to say like, hey, that moment right there helped me be who I am now. You know, what was one of those moments for you? <clears throat> Honestly, I, I do really think in terms of what I'm doing right now, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now if it hadn't been for that show that I signed up for. <clears throat> Um, excuse me it like and it wasn't it wasn't even until I got there where everything really kind of sunk in like when I it, it was always that thing that was coming up even when like when I was doing prep and all that and going like it's not until you like when I stepped on stage and I had the experiences that I had and met the people that I met and had the conversations that I did where it all made sense like there were you finally found like like I found other people that were thinking crazy like that were they were thinking the same way i was and it's like um that was that was really special and so i guess my message to th that i can take even away if, like even bodybuilding things have to be um i signed up show on a whim just because and i didn't put much weight into it when i made that decision but that decision has made an insane ripple effect in my life and so when you like don't take small decisions like that lightly like no matter what it is if you're thinking about taking a trip if you're thinking about um going like you know going to see this like you just you never know what that is going to turn into you never know who you're going to meet who you're going to talk to what it's going to make you feel like um so yeah like that that one small decision one day where i was feeling a little bit like ooh, i'm going to sign up for this thing like it's that's made that it's made it possible to do what i'm doing now and, and honestly like the rewards being working with people and, and helping them reach their goals is just incredibly rewarding and I'm, I'm just i'm really glad i'm doing it 